हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज आशीष सैनी फ्रॉम इनोवेट योर सेल्फ वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वंस अगेन आई एम बैक विद अनदर सेशन ऑन रासा चैट बॉट विद रासा 2.0 एंड इन टुडे सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दैट हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट योर फर्स्ट स्टोरी फॉर योर रासा चैट बॉट एंड दैट टू इन रासा 2.0 so this is all that we will learn in today's session now let's get started and let's see how you can do that all right so as you can see in here like this is the first project which we created in the last session where we have seen that how you can do the installation of your rasa chatbot as well as how you can initialize that project if you haven't gone through that video then you can get the link on the top of this video you can check that and accordingly you can install your rasa 2.0 so that you can get started from here right and now let's start further and let's do the modification into the project which we already have in here and let me just open it in the terminal first so you can see in here i'm in this location uh, where i'm having my rasa project now the first thing that you have to do is you have to activate the environment as per the operating system you are using just type the command like i am using ubuntu so based on that i will be typing this and it will activate it right so this is activated now let's move ahead and in here let's first verify like how exactly your chatbot is working right now right so that at least we can make the modifications accordingly right so this is all that i will do right now all right so let's say hi so the bot will say hey how are you so let's say sat so the bot will say hey is something to cheer you up this is a link for the image and accordingly let's say yes okay so it is absolutely fine up to this step and everything is correct so this is the initial project now i have to do the modification into that and for the modification let me go to the data directory and into this data directory we are having three files first is nlu.yml second is rules.yml third one is stories.yml right now we will not work with rules.yml we will only work with nlu and stories so that accordingly we can add the nlu data stories and further we can add the domain data right so this is all that we will do so right now let me just tell you what exactly i am going to do in today's session in this session what i will do is i will just ask my bot like let's say i will type an input that is what is your name so this is an input that is going to be entered inside this nlu.yml data right so inside this we will be having this data which a user can see right so this is all that we will add in here and accordingly your bot is going to reply as per that input and that will be written inside the domain.yml so most of the things are same the only thing is that we have to write it in in a different way because in rasa 2.0 we are having different modifications in the syntax of your project or let's say into the syntax of your code right so this is all that we will do in here so let me just uh, start with that so firstly as you can see in here i'm having this nlu.yml and inside this as i have already shown you in the previous session as well that this is the way how we write the data or let's say this is the way how we add the data to the nlu file right so similarly what i have to do is i have to add the data for what is your name right so this is all that i have to do and for that let's add the data over here all right so firstly what exactly you have to do is you just have to write intent so intent is the name just put a colon and just after that write a name for your intent in the same way like we did before right so let me just write the name let's say tell name and after that just give two spaces and let's say examples so in this version what exactly you have to do is for writing the examples you have to mention that this is an example or let's say in rasa 2.0 they have made it very easy that at least it will be very clear to you like how it is working and what exactly you are doing in here right so similarly what i am doing is firstly i have written intent and after that i have just written the intent name and after that i am writing examples and under the examples i am going to add the examples uh, based on which my bot is going to work right so this is all that i am going to do now give four spaces put the hyphen and just write the first example let's say what is your name so this is the first example 
similarly add uh, some more data so let me just add it all right so as you can see in here i have added the first intent which i'm going to use or let's say this is the example data that a user can say to ask you for your name so this is what i'm doing in here so this is the first thing now just save the file now go back and after that inside the stories.yml we have to add a story but for adding the story you must have the input and the output which means the nlu data as well as the domain data or let's say the bot response that a bot can reply with right so let's leave this for now and now let's go back here and go to domain.yml and inside this i have to add the response i have to add the reply that your bot is going to say right so this is what i'm going to do and in the domain.yml there is no changes so you can write it in the same way like you were using before so just copy it and just add it here all right so this is the intent similarly now i have to add the response so just add it here let's give it a name as utter underscore name and write the text whatever your bot is going to say right so let's say my name is innovate right let's say innovate yourself completely all right so this is a reply that your bot is going to give now save this right so this is all that I have done into the NLU.yml and into the domain.yml. So I'm having the complete data in this format. And after that, the last thing is that I have to combine them and to create a new story based on which your bot is going to reply, right? So for that, let me go to stories.yml now. And inside this, I have to add a new story, right? So after that, here, just write story, colon and just write a name to your story like we used to do it before right and just uh, let me just finish this part after that i will do a comparison between the previous version data and into this data so that you can get a proper understanding of the complete uh, difference between the previous version and the rasa 2.0 right so let me just finish this part first so here just give it a name let's say happy name path right so i'm writing it in this way and after that just type steps steps is like in this format your bot is going to work and in this way your bot is going to reply to you right so this is how we are going to work and after that here you just have to type intent colon and in here just type the intent let's say let's do one thing the first step will be the same right so let me just copy and paste this part only space this so firstly what will happen is firstly let's say i will say hi right based on that the greet intent will be taken or let's say it will be classified and based on that your bot is going to reply with utter underscore greet which is like hey how may i assist you or let's say hey how are you so this is uh, what exactly it is right and after that when i'm done with this step next step is to ask for the name so for asking the name I will call this intent or let's say the user is going to say some data based on this intent right so let me just add it here so tell name and after that it will be an action like what will be the action of your bot if this intent will be classified right so this is what I am doing and now go to domain from the domain whatever name you have assigned or let's say whatever utter action you have assigned just copy the name for it and add it here right so in this way i have created my story and my story is this like this is the name of your story this is the steps and inside that step here it is very clear that this line is for the intent and this line is for the action similarly you have written it for all over in the stories right so this is how i am creating a story i have added the data to the nlu.yml i have added the data to the domain.yml and in this way i am just adding all the things right so this is how i have done and now let me just uh, do the comparison between the previous version data and into 
Rasa 2.0 oh data, right? So let me just do that part, right? So let me just go to the stories.yml and let me just open one of my previous projects. Alright, can you see this? This is a story from the previous version. In the previous version, we used to write it like this. Like here, if you will see, what I have done is I have created like I have written that story and after story I have written like this is happy name path. So this is how I'm writing the name. So this is what I'm writing in here is same what we are doing in here. Let's say about this part, right? So this is what I'm doing in here. Similarly, if you will check for the intent and action here, we are specifically mentioning that this is steps and under that steps we are writing that this is intent, this is action, this is intent, this is action. But in the previous version, what we were doing is we were directly writing a star. Star means this will be an intent and hyphen means this will be the action from your bot. So this is how we were just writing the story in the previous version. So this is uh, the main difference between the story in the previous version and in Rasa 2.0. So this is how we are doing the complete comparison between them, right? So this is all about the story. Similarly, if we will check for the NLU data and in the NLU data, if you will find like this is the way how we are writing it. And now let's compare this part with the actual data, right? So this is what I'm doing in here. So this is the Rasa 2.0 NLU data and this is the previous data, right? And in here, let's compare with the first one, which is for the greet, right? And in here, you can see double hash intent colon greet, which means I'm writing it like this. In new one, Rasa 2.0, you're writing it directly like hyphen intent colon, whatever is the name for your intent. But previously we were writing it like double hash intent colon greet, which means we are writing the name for it. Similarly, after that, for the examples part, we are writing directly like hyphen, uh, hey, hyphen, hello, hyphen, hi, something. Similarly, the same thing we are doing in here, but here we are specifically mentioning that examples colon space, uh, this line hyphen, right? And after that, we are directly writing for it, whatever is the examples. So this is the way how we are writing the data in Rasa 2.0 and in the previous version. So this is the difference between them, right? So this is how we are doing in here, right? Now, as you have understood, like what exactly we have done in here and what are the differences between the previous version and the latest version of Rasa, right? So now I think uh, we should move on and let's just close this one and save everything whatever changes you have made in here right so that at least we can train the model and we can check the updates right so now i am done up to this part all right so i am in here and now let's just type rasa train so we can train the model all right i think there is some changes or let's say there is some mistake in the code which we have written right and specifically it is mentioning that that is inside nlu.yml so let me just go in there and let's see what is the changes that i have made okay go in here go in there okay i forgot to add this just save it right save it and again retrain it So can you see like here it was just a line but this means a lot so that is the reason you have to add this just after adding this examples colon you have to add it so that it will treat it like this is what this is the example for the particular intent which you are adding in here so that is the reason you have to add it now uh, let your model train and after that we will uh, verify that whether it is working as per the story we, we have mentioned or not so let it finish. All right, so your model is trained now and that is stored inside this model's uh, directory, right? So this is here. Now let's do Rasa shell. Okay, so Rasa shell is running. Now let's say hi. So hey, how are you? Uh, and I want to say, let's say, what is your name? 
so can you see my name is innovate yourself so my name is innovate yourself is coming from the changes that we have added to the project and based on that we are able to uh, do whatever we want to do right or let's say in the same way we can add multiple stories we can add multiple data to your project and we can see the rasa in action with rasa 2.0 right so this is all about this part by adding the first story to your rasa 2.0 so that is it for today i hope you have got a proper understanding of all the things that whatever we have done in here but still if you are facing any difficulties in understanding the topic then feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section and also if you have liked this video then do click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos from my channel till then bye bye and happy learning